<laughs> Jesus Christ, I'm very good. Allegedly, my trailer got blo broken into today. Again, allegedly. I saw a picture, it didn't look good. They got in from the top, from that little two by two hole. I don't know what kind of midget got in, but we're gonna go find out. I am shocked it happened in this neighborhood. We're at a $6 million home. Across the street is probably a $4 million home. This is a very, 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 very expensive neighborhood. And again, the trailer got broken into. So this is what we walked into today. Look at this. So we came in, the main locks up there, they were locked, okay? So the boys opened them to get the tools out and all that stuff to start the day, like normally they would. But when they opened the door, so good thing is these big locks, they worked. When they opened the door, look at this. Look at this fucking, look at this circus show. Someone literally cut this and squeezed in. This is probably like a 20 inch hole. Okay, so first what they did, they broke in, they got in here. They popped the fence out, a little screen. They got in, they're in here. And then they started shuffling and rifling through all the tools, which I'm very surprised. This, this makes me feel like this wasn't targeted and this wasn't a professional stealing job like the last time because the last time the guys came in, they were in a truck. This time, it seems like they didn't have a truck because they left my compactor. This is a brand new compactor. I paid freaking four grand for this thing. They left it here. But one thing they did take, I just bought a brand new $3,000 Hilti jackhammer. They took that. Now you'd be like, T, how did they get out? I paid two grand to have those padlocks put on those cup locks, those uh, hockey puck locks. Look at this. They unbolted the hockey puck locks. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six bolts. Once that's unbolted, I mean, it's, it's easy to get out. See this? So I paid some good money for this. And this obviously did its job because they couldn't get in. They tried to take this lock and drill it out. There's a drill hole right here. They tried to drill this out. There's a drill hole right there. So the good thing is homeowner has cameras right there and right there. So we're gonna see what happens. All right, so we're gonna, we're gonna test how they got on. I was, I was under the impression, I'm like, how did they get on here? They needed a ladder to climb the trailer. Bro, I provided, I provided a ladder for them. Exhibit A. Yeah, they broke in. All right, so I guess this is pretty simple. <laughs> Look at this. The thing is though, someone had to drop them in because you would get hurt. <laughs> I'm very good. So, we just figured out that these vent holes are too big. That's what she said. <laughs> so I have to get, I'm gonna get metal plates made and then I'm gonna cover these vent holes from the top and bottom. The security system is actually not bad. It's just, there's always a way in. And when the boys called me, they said they, they broke in from the top. My thing, I, my impression was, they freaking, oh yes, I spit around the camera. <laughs> <laughs> my impression was <laughs> more fire. My, my thing was that I thought they freaking cut a hole in the roof and then they got in. That would suck so bad, but this is not too bad. It's not too bad. Well, happy Monday tea. Stuff gets broken into yet again. Now let's go over a list of what they took. They got in here. This little orange box was full of grinders, cutters, Little hand tools, probably $600, maybe $700. Number two, my Hilti jackhammer, this one. I just paid three grand for that one with all the attachments and the little trailer, gone. My uh, Bosch hammer, electric shovel, $800, gone. Milwaukee electric shovel, $700, gone. The big Bosch demolition hammer, $1,200, gone. So they probably got me for about six, $7,000 worth of stuff. Sucks. And there's probably some other things that they took, but I just have no idea. Like they even opened this. Why'd they open this? They needed an oil change. Yeah. It's like, leave my, leave my oil alone, guys. Like, fucking take the tools, leave my oil alone. So, it is what it is. It sucks. 
But the trailer did work. It's just these things were not meant from the inside. Very unfortunate. Well, it could have been worse. So I'm not like too sad. They did get me for like six grand, five, six grand, whatever it is, seven grand. I have no idea. You know, you forget some of the stuff that you have in the trailer. So it's just damn. But if I had to say on a scale of one to 10, this is a four. It's a four. Now nah, let's take it to a five. Because sorry, boys, but I have to cancel the giveaway July 23rd. I can't give that truck away because now I have to sell the truck to buy the tools. <laughs> Just kidding, it's still on. One week later. Okay, so here's the evidence. I have been doing Investor Gadget and I have found some things. Number one, the people stole my stuff. Number two, whoever stole my stuff was very small and they fit through the ceiling door, which is ludicrous. Number three, there is no evidence. I went to neighbor one, neighbor two, neighbor three, neighbor four. The, the homeowner that we did the job for, I was like, bro, you have two cameras right there. And he went through the footage and he said, it's not recording. I don't know what happened. So it might be the homeowner. Pretty sure it's not, but it might be. <laughs> it's very disappointing. I'm very sad. I will take the L on this one. The thieves got me. So listen, boys, it is what it is. Shit like this happens. However, a lot of you messaged me on Instagram and Facebook and you're like, T, how can you remain so calm under like certain things like this? You have no choice. What are you gonna do? Uh, they already stole your stuff, so that's already a, a negative for you. However, watch how I spin it. They stole your things, it's already a negative. You being upset and mad is gonna be a double negative. You resenting and saying how bad the day was, and that's a triple negative. You already had one bad thing happen. Now you don't wanna just keep adding to the fire. You just wanna get rid of it, okay? It's just stuff. You can always go buy new stuff. It's not a big deal. What matters is your state of mind, your emotional state, how you react to things. It's not the things that happen to you, it's how you react to them. So it's very simple to get upset. Anyone can do it. However, it takes a true professional to just brush it off and just keep moving. I'm gonna be fine either way. The people that stole the stuff, they needed it. It's like me making a donation. You're welcome, thieves. I will get you though. Believe that. <laughs> I'm coming for you. Oh, $10,000 reward if you find information and it comes to the arrest of the guys that stole my stuff and my shit back. 10,000 cash, I swear to God. I hate thieves. They're the worst people in the world, but I will not let them get the best of me. I will continue to move forward, have a good attitude, and not worry about it. Because at the end of the day, I have a fucking Lambo. Peace.